Hello, Fort Wainwright. Colonel Nate Surrey here, your garrison commander. Hey, today I'm sitting at the Chena Bend Golf Course Clubhouse, and, and in, in preparation for about a month from now when the course opens, we wanted to cover some of the wonderful uh, programs that we have here at the golf course to get our community out here and truly enjoy the, one of the best golf courses in the Army, definitely the best in the state of Alaska. Uh, we're also going to cover some uh, topics on the commissary and our post exchange because a lot's happening in those in in those areas. But first, I want to hit a few to hot topics, and we'll support that with some information that flows across the screen for you. Um, and a lot of construction happening on this base, um, and will continue to be that way for many years due to the influx of much needed major military construction money to our base. So here's some quick updates. Our New barracks um, project of 252 beds. That's one plus one soldier configuration where they share a bathroom and a common area and then have their own bedrooms. And it will have air conditioning, first one, um, and all the future ones will be that way. And it'll open up uh, August of 25. Uh, that's a Corps of Engineers project, and it's worth about $70 million. So we're excited about that. That's happening right next to Malavin. Um, is where that project will be built. There's three ongoing projects that most of you are aware of, but for those that are new or coming up to Fort Wayne right soon, the Child Development Center, the large Child Des Development Center, 338 children capacity, this is huge for us, uh, costs about $35 million. It is 50% complete and on schedule to be turned over to the Army um, just sometime around January, February of next year, so 24. But it'll take some time to maneuver all of our individuals over there. So expect it to open up around May or June of 24. Um, so huge again. So about one year from now, that new CDC will be opened up uh, for our uh, wonderful families to, to drop off their kids, you know, from infant to five years old. The next one's the Aquatic Center. The Aquatic Center is... Um, already started construction last year, at least the ground prep. You will see that start to come up rapidly this summer. It is directly next to the Physical Fitness Center, um, and that's due to be complete in August of 24. Also, that's a $31 million project, uh, almost 30,000 square feet, has two pools, an Olympic pool for lap swimming or potential training, and then it has a children's pool or family pool it's only for that, and it has a zero um, depth entry, so safer for kids. It'll have a slide or two, water guns, and things of that nature. So huge uh, impact and morale for our family, especially in the wintertime. And then the final thing is our new community activity center, which is also started construction. It's next door to the bowling alley right now, across from the hotel. And that is good. It's $34 million, almost 40,000 square feet. It's going to have 16 bowling lanes, a dining area, adjacent bar, a covered patio with a beer garden, a gaming area, fitness area for parents in direct line of sight of the children play area, just kind of like we have at the uh, Last Frontier Community Activity Center now, but much bigger and, and, and better. So again, that opens up August of 24. So literally within about two to three months of each other, a new CDC, a new aquatic center, and a new community activity center all opening up on this space. So a lot happening, a lot of good news there. Now for the things that are going to cause a little bit of pain for us, because every year construction season for the majority of our things like road maintenance is about four months long. So this year it's not as bad, uh, luckily, but we're going to work on Old Badger Road in between Chippewa Avenue and Eisenhower Road only for two weeks, 1 through 15 August. Uh, you can see the map up on the screen now. The second one is uh, Kenny Road. We're right out here connecting our Ketchum Road uh, to the Bailey Bridge next to the golf course. Uh, that's 15 to 31 August, and you can see that on the map also. So actually not as bad as most summers. So it should be a pretty low impact on traffic this year uh, in terms on the base. Off the base, we have... If you may, some of you that you were here remember uh, last year, a lot of construction outside of Gaffney Gate for that, that what we call the GARS intersection, the Gaffney Airport Road, Richardson Steese Highway. There's still a little bit to be done there, but um, nowhere near the impact of last year. It's generally that basic center intersection part. So you will see some lane uh, changes 
but again, the gate will not be closed for the majority of the summer. There is going to be one nine-day period. Um, that's two weekends sandwiched in between five days, and that will be during the 111 IBCT Arctic Wolves block leave period. We're doing that on purpose because we assume there's going to be less in and out traffic, and so that enables the Department of Transportation for Alaska to really surge their final uh, construction they need to do there uh, with the least impact to the base. All right, we'll move on to our next topic. Hi, I'm Major Velasco. I'm an OB nurse at Bassett Army Community Hospital. I would like to announce that Medic Alaska will host the first Arctic Family Symposium on the hospital footprint. The event will be held on Saturday, May 13, from 10 to 1300. Adopted by the Baby Expo concept, the symposium will incorporate the broader family focus. Our purpose is to provide and facilitate family-oriented cohesion across the military and Fairbanks community. A collaboration of hosts within the hospital, Fort Wainwright, and the Fairbanks community will exhibit the resources they provide. There will be baby shower game, face painting, bounce house, inflatable axe throwing, opportunity giveaways, swag, and more. The maternal newborn unit will have rotating tours and our physical therapist will have a woman's health presentation. There will be food on site for purchase. The event is free and open to all beneficiaries. All right, welcome back, uh, Team Wainwright. Hey, today I've got Dustin Adams. He's our, what we call our MWR business manager, which really means he's in charge of the ski hill and the golf course, our two largest recreational, by far, recreational facilities uh, or areas on the base. So welcome, Dustin. Thanks for having me, sir. So what we're gonna talk about today is golf season. Here we are uh, in, in early May. So we're about three, maybe four weeks away from opening day. Just depends on when the melt happens and, and uh, when it's safe enough to get out there and not cause damage to the golf course. So uh, last year, I think we officially started letting people out on Memorial Day. Yes, sir. So let's hope for that again. Um, just need to get a little more warm sun out here. Yeah, we'll so, be out snow blowing the greens probably next week and getting them ready. So there you go. Let See, the melting come. So snow blowing the greens <laughs> to get them ready. I mean, that, you're not going to hear that too many other places. So let's, let's start off uh, up front with, um, let's say you, uh, you're new to golf, like many, many of our folks may be, some of our first-term soldiers, and you're interested in coming out here to play. Uh, you know, clubs, prices, lessons, what are some of the things you might be able to tell them? So to start off, I mean, this is a great time of year to uh, get new clubs. Um, we are a Mizuno certified fitter. We also have a small stock of clubs here. We uh, carry some Callaway and Mizuno. And most of the manufacturers now are getting down to about a two week turnaround time for custom and one week for uh, stock orders. So I can get stuff in pretty quick up here. So if you're looking to uh, update some of your stuff or um, come and check out, we have some demo clubs here. Um, check out what's new and uh, um, get yourself fitted out for the season. And, you know, the last couple years, it's been really slow with COVID, but now the manufacturers are getting back into it and, and they're getting pretty short lead times on getting clubs. When we have every sets, we have Stratas um, in here all the way up to custom fit Mizuno. So whatever your price point is, we can get you squared away. Okay. And so what if a, a soldier is like, hey, I'm not going to, I'm not ready to buy clubs yet because he hasn't even really swung a club yet. What would, how would we introduce him to the sport? Sure. So for um, our E1s through E5s, we do free club rentals with your green fees. And then we have three tiers of uh, golf clubs. We have our entry level, um, our premium, and then our VIP sets. So if you want to demo um, the latest stuff, we have the um, premium sets and we have our standard set of Mizuno. So if you're just new to it, want to check it out, I mean, you know, renting clubs for 30 bucks a time you're in is, is not a bad deal. And then, like I say, for the junior enlisted, we uh, do free, free club rentals with uh, greens fees. Yeah, that's incredible. And so, and just to, for your tracking, E1 to E5, right? I think that's uh, what I've got on the list here. Yeah, the prices are pretty wild. You can get a 10 uh, use nine hole punch card for a hundred bucks. Uh, try finding that on any, any, any golf course of this magnitude, or you can do a season pass for $310. That means you come out and play all summer long. And for those of you who haven't been here in summer yet, you can literally come out here and walk and play anytime uh, during you know, June and July, literally 24 hours a day. 
So, um, and, and while the clubhouse is open, you can pick up a, a free set of clubs to go out there and play. Yep, same with the driving range. You can have tokens come out, hit, right. hit any time of day you want. I mean, that's the great thing about golf in Alaska. I, I do that. So I buy um, uh, um, and put money on the little key token fob. thing. It's all my key. And I'll come out here on a Friday or Saturday night and, and be hitting balls at 10, 10 11 o'clock at night because it seems like it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It is really awesome. So It's a good post-work work, work uh, de-stressor to come out and just hit a bucket on. of balls. That is absolutely right. And so we also have golf leagues, correct? Yes, sir. So Monday and Tuesday night, we have uh, men's leagues. Um, Monday night fills up pretty fast. Um, it's kind of more of a A and B league um, level golf. Um, Tuesday night is kind of more of a low-key, laid-back. Um, some of the rules are laid back to make it a little easier for, for people that it's their first time playing league or kind of intimidated. But it's a uh, two-man match play event every week um, that you commit to it. And the great thing about that is it commits you to getting out and playing golf once a week and, and, and enjoying it. And so, you know, if you're buying a punch card or a season pass, it really makes it worth it to do that once a week league. It runs about 13 weeks um, long, starts at the beginning of June. And if you uh, have any questions, you can contact us here at the uh, Pro Shop and we can get you linked up. Um, but um, great way to get out and, and play and meet a bunch of other golfers. So I did uh, uh, the league last year on Mondays, and um, and I've always got one of the later tee times because of my work schedule. But I was always able to make it out here, not always warm up, but at least get to the tee box uh, around 6.30 in the evening. And then, you know, it's about an hour and a half to run a, a nine-hole loop. It's only nine holes. It's pretty yep. quick. It's nice. Um, the bottom line is if you're not getting outside in Alaska in the summer, you are missing out. So uh, next question is upcoming events at the golf course. I know uh, we have a ton of tournaments. So in, how can we, where can we go to see where all these tournaments are uh, to pick and choose which ones we want to enter? So the best way is here at the Pro Shop. Um, we definitely advertise them here. Um, we also are launching with Golf Now this year. Um, so we will have tee times on there as well as be able to uh, send out informational stuff. So if you become part of our mailing list or our texting list, we will send out weekly um, updates on what events and stuff are going out so that you know when you can and, and when the course is taken up. But also we'll have um, all the brochures for signing up for all the different events. Um, we have our in-house events and then we have some of our um, external um, tournaments as well. Some of our great in-house events are the Midnight Sun Tournament. Mm -hmm. um, seems to sell out every year. We, we start doing dinner at 7 o'clock. Um, it'll be June 17th. We'll do dinner at 7, tee off at 8 o'clock. So you're playing till midnight. Only place you can do that is in Alaska. Um, and what a great experience. We do a great steak dinner beforehand and uh, look forward to doing that again. June 17th will be the date for that. We also do the red, white, and blue tournament. I think you've played in it a oh, couple yeah. times. Gives a gives a different look at the course. So you play off all the different tee boxes and uh, you can play any time during the memorial or during the fourth of July weekend. Um, so, you know, get your team together and come out and check that out. The other great thing we have is uh, ten dollar lessons for active duty military on Sunday. Right. Probably the best purchase, you know, the best money without question purchase out here is ten dollar group lessons for all active duty on Sundays um, with our pros. So um, great spend. I'm coming to that. Um, definitely need them. We, I'll tell you, you can always use, I don't care what level you are, you can always get some tweaks to your swing or whatnot, and that is ridiculously cheap because it's the pro. Yep. He'll have a group of you, and he's going to work on specific uh, different tasks, I'm assuming. Like yep. it, this, this Sunday we're going to do sand shots, you know, bunker shots, putting and others over so on. And so if you were to come to those several times, my assumption is, you're going to work on every part of your game. Yeah, I mean, a normal hour lesson with him is $65 for military, and this yep. is $10. That's so it is a group cheap. lesson, and it starts to build up. But, you know, if you commit to it, I mean, he'll work you through your whole game um, throughout the summer. Oh, that's a great that's a great opportunity. And, and so if you come over here to the Chinabun uh, golf course, you'll see the price sheet. We've worked on this the last couple years. Uh, we had, did not increase prices at all this year, and the plan is not to do that. Um, but we we added more options for you, right? So you can buy cart punch cards. I bought one last year. It's very very nice because if you do that, you save like fifty dollars, and so you add that to your season pass greens fees, and and you're you're getting a pretty good deal here, to be honest. But we all have the re also have the restaurant here. 
We have, you know, uh, uh, adult beverages available right here in the clubhouse. We also have a full bar outside. If you have not been to China Bend, this is one of the nicer golf courses and clubhouses you're going to find anywhere in the Army. Um, I th this course rivals, I know it's only open for about four months, but it rivals Hawaii because I just played down there without question. The For sure. I mean, we're definitely one of the top in the state. Yes. Um, you know, we host a lot of state level events here yeah. um, and, and our prices are, are phenomenal. So, I mean, it is some of the best value golf you can get. Well, I hope to see you out here a lot. Um, it's a great way to enjoy the outdoors and the community and meet new people. And Dustin's team does a wonderful, wonderful job. So thanks, Dustin. Thank you, sir. All right. Hello, Fawn Wayne Wright. My name is Command Sergeant Major Murillo, your Garrison Sergeant Major. I want to take a moment to talk to you about AAR today. Army Emergency Relief is a nonprofit organization that's supported primarily by donations. What does AAR provide? AAR provides zero interest loans and grants and also a variety of services for emergency needs. Uh, we also provide scholarships for spouses and dependents of college age children. AAR is so important because every single day we run through some type of financial stressors. So let's talk about some of the benefits that we've had here just alone on Fort Wainwright over this last calendar year. So we provided assistance to 671 families. That's over $1.1 million that AER provided assistance to, in addition to $39,000 worth of scholarships. So again, we're right in the middle of our campaign for AER with an Army goal of 25% participation rate. I'm proud to say that here at Fort Wainwright, we have exceeded that Army's goal of 25%, and we're sitting at 33%. All right, with a total of over $110,000 in donations. We're the number two installation across the Army in donations, number two across the Army in participation rate. But we still got a couple weeks left and we're not done. So please, I ask that you participate as well. You donate what you can, whether it's $1, whether it's $2, whatever it is, however you can make a difference. I'm gonna make my difference today and what I wanna do is I wanna provide a donation of $100 to Army Emergency Relief on my donation slip. And this is how you do it. Thank you, appreciate all your assistance, and we're almost there. We still got two weeks left in the campaign. Every donation matters. Thank you. Hello, Fort Wainwright. Hey, I'm back with a wonderful guest today, Sarah Vincent, who is our uh, commissary manager uh, interim at the moment. Welcome, Sarah, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. And the reason I brought her on today was there's a lot going on with the commissary, a lot of changes for the good, and so we're gonna get right into it. So the first question is, talk about the sidewalk sale and uh, when is that gonna happen? So we'll be having our sidewalk sale on May 12th through the 15th. Um, you'll be able to purchase all day. Um, we, we will be having a, a really cool event on the first two days. We'll be giving away free lunches um, from 11 to two o'clock that will consist of hot dogs, chips, sodas. The vendors are supporting the sale and they have provided that for the customers. So we hope everybody comes in, brings their family and enjoys a free lunch and, and look at all the, the deals we have. We're really focusing on bringing in stuff for the out of the summer kids and having those uh, big bulk items to help get through those summer months with the kids at home from school. Well, that's awesome. So it's it it's truly is a kind of kind of like a would you consider like a Costco type sale? Yeah. Got it. Yes, so sir. this is huge for the for the community yeah. to go and get you know whatever it may be, paper towels, things of that mm -hmm. nature. So that that's really awesome. Um, so the next one is uh, what uh, changes and initiatives are coming to Fort Wainwright uh, to fulfill the customers' needs. One of the things that have we've seen an increased desire for at the store lately is more bulk items and also more single serve type items. Um, we've been able to expand in our meat department with the single serve. We're looking to expand in our fresh chicken and further on in that single serve. And we are striving and pushing to bring in more bulk family type items, looking for more food bulk items. Um, we started that in March and we were very successful with our distributor. So we continue, we're going to continue on in pushing in that for to look more towards food bulk. We've been able to maintain a very good bulk item on our paper and our cleaning products. So now the initiative is to work towards the food items. Outstanding. Well, I'm going to put a plug in right now. If you, if the community has never eaten at the deli, uh, they make fresh sandwiches there. Uh, they are, there is nobody beats them. Uh, in this community anywhere, I'll just state it. And, and also, you guys are supplying the soldier's kiosk yes. over in uh, now, 1001, and it's doing $60,000, $70,000 a month in sales over there. 
uh, because of your fresh sandwiches that are absolutely wonderful. And for the price, you cannot beat them. Yes. It, it says a foot long. It's more like a foot and a half. Yes. So um, go check out the commissary. Definitely for the deli. I, I usually order a sandwich at least once out of every two times I go there. And I'm shopping. I go back and get it. Sushi's really good, too. Yeah. That's the I, other one. And I do. I eat at our deli probably once a week myself. Yeah. And I've been working for the commissary for a little over 12 years. So if I still eat them, they're very good. And uh, in that, uh, they also have expanded. And um, they have the breakfast sandwiches that you can get at um, our store as soon as we open. You can get breakfast sandwiches there, too. And what time do you guys open normally? Uh, we open at 09. There you go. Awesome. Um, next question is, how are we doing, because, uh, you know, a, a lot of folks are familiar with uh, the initiative that um, there was a memorandum signed a while back about the commissary dropping their prices significantly uh, due to the inflation um, that, that has happened, is going on right now in our nation. Because you talk a little bit about how we're doing that? Yeah, right now we run um, weekly sales comparisons against our local um, grocery stores and we are doing an overall, we look at some of the primary staples, um, chicken, beef, some produce items, eggs, milk. We also expand onto different smaller specialties and we will shop at all the different local stores and if we are finding a variance in that price or if the price is higher at the local econ or lower at the local economy, we will then lower our price to offset that. So an example I always use, because it's, it's an easy one to see visually yourself, is um, right now currently at the local economy, bananas are 89 cents a pound. We pay 89 cents a pound to bring ours in, but we offer them to our patron at 84 cents so that they have an offset for that cost, and it's a cheaper price for them at the commissary. But in general, we're trying to do an aggregate of 25 percent below the local economy yes sir that's correct that, that's yeah. the so what and it's they're literally doing daily price checks um, on the, a lot of your major items like eggs milk bread chicken beef and so forth and so on and it's constantly fluctuating because as Fred Wire, Safeway, Walmart and a few others those are your big ones uh, change their prices you know we have to be spot on mm. similar to what how we do the fuel uh, on post two yes, uh, through AFI. So and Sarah, and there's another one. So you are the interim because Eric Rosillo is is uh, is has left us. So who is the new commissary manager? Our new commissary officer's name is uh, Mr. Edwin Rodriguez, and he will be arriving May seventh. He mm -hmm. is coming from England, mm -hmm. and he is a long, long commissary employee, and he's also previous army. I know I'm blessed. We're so blessed to have not only you in the interim role, but to keep you here uh, because you've done just a wonderful job. I've seen a massive difference in the commissary and just the, in the last year or so. So on behalf of all of our community, thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, Fort Wainwright, we are about 30 days away from our summer concert that will be happening here at Chena Bend Golf Course on Friday, June 2nd. Doors to the event will open at 4.30 p.m., so be sure to catch one of the buses. They will start at 4 o'clock from our four different locations. They'll have pickup stops at the Physical Fitness Center, the Youth Center, as well as the Last Frontier Community and Activity Center, and the Siku Basin Housing Area. So be sure to jump on one of those buses at 4 o'clock and be here when our doors do open at 4.30. If you would rather drive your POV to the event, you are more than welcome to do so. However, the only way to get to the concert in your POV would be through the Montgomery Gate. So starting at 1.30 p.m., Montgomery Gate will be access only to the summer concert location. So feel free to bring your POV as well. The concert is free this year and open to the public. So any of our Fairbanks community members are able to join us at the event this year. You do still go through Montgomery Gate in your POV. You do not have to stop at the main gate or the visitor center to get passes at all. Stay tuned for Andy Grammer and Frankie Ballard being here on Friday, June 2nd at the Chena Bend Golf Course. Event will kick off at 4.30 p.m. Thanks. Hey, welcome team. We're back here with Dan Owens. He is our area AFES uh, manager, and he's been an absolute godsend uh, to us at Fort Wainwright. And so we're going to get into some of the major topics that uh, he has been uh, spearheading. So welcome, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. Outstanding. So the first topic is uh, many people know, have noticed walking into the, to the uh, PX area 
the, the main PX area, that there's a lot of construction going on. So what they don't know maybe, even though you do have some great signage up there, is what the bigger picture of that is in the timeline. Okay, so the bigger picture, uh, we're gonna touch pretty much every corner of the building. Uh, we're, we're digging into nooks and crannies. We find problems, we're gonna fix them. Uh, but the overall scope is to provide a updated shopping experience for our customers. So we'll touch all of the restaurants, all the retail space, uh, military clothing, barbershop, beauty salon, GNC, we're gonna touch everything. So it's about bringing more of the newer retail strategies and programs into Fort Wainwright. So what, you remember what the rough cost estimate was for the whole thing? Uh, the rough cost estimate started at about $4 million and we're pushing closer to $14 million now. <laughs> Everything's every, more expensive in Alaska. Every time we find something, they, they call me money, Dan. Every time we find something, I ask for more money to, to fix it, so. That's how it works up here. Yeah. Well, the good news is the attention is here. And like you said, it's a complete fate li facelift, really. Um, and we're gonna have some Arctic branding to that. Like you, you showed me a photo of the new entryway. So it's gonna be a covered entryway going into the main entrance. And it's gonna be what you're used to seeing up here, similar to what you might see at Eilson, uh, for example. So we're really excited. And then, and then let's talk about like, uh, on top of the facelift of the, of the actual infrastructure, actual like uh, upgrades to um, merchandise. We're kind of approaching this as an everything Alaska, kind of like we're doing, uh, you guys are doing here at Fort Wainwright. Um, on top of touching everything to make sure it looks pretty, it's got to be um, functional. So the merchandise assortment is going to get a complete facelift. Um, we've been visiting a lot of the uh, big box stores uh, and even the small stores um, out in the local community, finding out what people are buying and then that's the stuff we're aiming for. So we've got a brand new assortment that's going to be coming in the next uh, six to 12 months towards the end of the year, um, 2023. And uh, it'll take a little bit of time to, you know, kind of polish off that assortment. Um, but what we're aiming at is bringing everything that you would actually need in Alaska into the stores so you don't have to go far to get it. That's incredible. Um, yeah, so I know you're not supposed to, to, to name the, the, you personally can't name all the stuff, but any of the big name snow type gear is, is what you're talking about, Arctic gear. So, you know, Columbia, North Face, Timberland, those type of things, because I can say this, mm -hmm. uh, are, are kind of the, the things that are coming in. That's just a few of them. It's a much broader. Um, and that is awesome because you want to go, to be able to go to the PX and buy the things that you need up here. And his story is pretty funny. When he came here, first arrived, he went to the PX and got the best gear he could there uh, for the winter and he froze. <laughs> so that was his real um, yeah, personal experience that says, hey, we've got we to change some things. So um, you will start to see that um, coming through next winter, but it'll probably take a year, a good year or so to really get all of that changed because he has to go to buyers um, and, or you have to all those companies yeah. and put in these orders and so forth and so on. So, but the good news is the entire AFI's chain of command all the way up to the CEO is on board and supporting Dan. Um, so we're very, very fortunate. So give it about a year to year and a half and you will see this place completely turned inside out. Yeah, absolutely. So Dan, I can't thank you enough uh, for everything you've done so far. And uh, that's why I wanted to bring you on here so you could put a face uh, to what is happening. Uh, and they, if they see you running around out there, uh, they can thank you. <laughs> yep, my pictures are up. You see me, say hi, I'd appreciate it. All right, thanks, All right, Dan. Thank you. Hi, I'm Cassie Duncan here at Outdoor Recreation. I'm one of the trip programmers. We have a lot of trips to offer this summer, including biking, rock climbing, hikes, um, and many more. Uh, one of our more exciting uh, trips we're offering this summer is whitewater rafting down in Denali. If planned trips are not your thing, we do also offer a large amount of rental items that are here for your own personalized trips, including fishing gear, tents, and even campers. And the last thing that I wanna talk about is the Worry Adventure Quest. This is for units specifically. Uh, and it's a day for your unit to go out and have fun with us here at Outdoor Recreation, and it's absolutely free to your unit. So if you're interested in any of these three things, please contact Outdoor Recreation. All right, Fort Wainwright, uh, here we are at the closure of another wonderful Arctic Vibe. 
Um, hopefully you learned a lot about uh, Sheena Ben today, along with a few other things like our great commissary and AFES. Uh, I, I cannot articulate this enough. Come out to the golf course. Uh, I am personally biased because I'm a golfer, but what a beautiful, beautiful venue uh, to come out here. You can even just come out here in the evening, evenings and walk the golf course late at night. Uh, just be very, very cognizant of golfers because you are in danger of getting hit by a ball. But, I mean, you know, be smart about it. But th this course is wonderful. You should at least come out to the driving range and blow off some steam sometimes in the late evenings. And, you can, like I said, you can buy a little key fob that puts money onto it. And you just walk up in the middle of the night, get the balls out, wax some balls. It's a great way to clear your mind. Um, Breakup season, we're in full breakup season right now. There's no question. Uh, parking lots are nasty, just like up at Birch Hill. Um, free stall still happening every single day. Um, so as I always talk about, pay attention to the little things, how you're walking and where you're stepping, because what you saw yesterday could have changed today due to water and ice moving all over the place. So be safe out there. Um, motorcycle season, again, I know I get a lot of upset people every year. That will not open on this base until all the gravel is swept off the, the, the majority of the roads on this base. That is for your protection, period. Um, there is all different le le levels of riders. I understand that, but that is just how we do it here for the safety of not only you, but, but our other people that are driving. So we'll try to get it as complete as fast as possible. Usually it's around mid-June that that happens. So have a wonderful uh, rest of your spring, and, and we'll see you uh, next month at North Haven Community Center. Take care.